Hey everyone, welcome to Finding Limits Algebraically in our last example uh, using uh, algebra to find the limit of a function that has absolute value in it. Okay, so let's look at our first example and our only example. So find the limit of this function. The limit as x is approaching 5 of the absolute value of x minus 5 over x minus 5. So you can do these graphically and, and what's going to happen here is you're going to look really at a piecewise function, but we're going to try to do this algebraically. Okay, So let's go back and think about what the definition of the absolute value of x minus 5 means. Well, it means that it's going to be x minus 5 if x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0, which means that x is going to be greater than or equal to 5. Okay, And the other definition we have to look at is it's the opposite of x minus 5 if x minus 5 is less than 0, meaning x is less than 5. Okay, and That's our definition of this absolute value. So what actually happens here is we need to rewrite our limits and we've got to consider two limits here. You're going to consider the left hand limit, x, the limit as x is approaching 5 from the left, that's what that minus sign means, of our original statement, of our original function there, so this, okay, and that actually equals the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of the opposite of x minus 5 over x minus 5. Okay? Now I'm going to continue on and actually do this problem. So we're going to have a limit as x approaches 5 from the left of negative. Okay, well not negative, excuse me. We can actually just go ahead and simplify this. 1, so that just becomes 1. So this is negative 1. Okay, so that limit is negative 1. So we've taken care of the first part. But if you approach from the the negative side, we had to actually approach 5 from the positive side, from the right. So as x approaches 5 from the right, okay, that means we're going to be using this portion, okay. So you're going to have the original, I'm just rewriting the original here, okay. And if I simplify this, I'm going to have the limit as x is approaching 5 from the right of just x minus 5 over x minus 5 using this definition up here, right. We're using this because we're approaching 5 from the right, the values from the right are greater than 5, so we use this definition. Here we use the opposite because approaching 5 from the left, we're going from like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, those values are all less than 5, we're using this here. So I go back down, and I'm like, well, the same thing over the same thing, that's just the limit as x approaches 5 from the, uh, the right is just 1, so that's 1. Now we have our answer here, negative 1, does that equal 1? No. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 5 of the absolute value of x minus 5 over x minus 5 does not exist. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, you can type them below. Hopefully that helps you with finding limits algebraically of absolute value functions.